asleep on my feet last night, and oh my god, they were so overheated. Oh yeah. Woke up with my brother's cat on my back today. It was like, get off, get off, get off. You called me. So here I am. Nobody called you. Oh my god. I love the brutalist I know, architecture. I you know what I'm sometimes. talking about? That that big concrete brick style. Yeah. It's just that... It's that sterile. Hopes up. Like, so intimidating aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. It's not like Aperture where it's big, but I sterile and nothing. white and shiny and like apple chrome. No, it's more like... Like, what it's if Russia had won and took over the world? And what would the architecture look like? It'll look like this, very much and like you know, your place. Your place is nothing. You are nothing. You are tiny. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. So, this is the Federal Bureau of Control, the MIB, Torchwood, Warehouse 63, or whatever the fuck that show is called. You know what I'm talking about, right? Pictures Never seen it. Nice. Uh, Warehouse 13. Why did I say 63? I don't know. Um, Rule 63. Like in That's Rule 64. Movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Rule 63. The room is a cell, and the picture, it's oh, different wow. for <laughs> each of us. It can be beautiful. Oh, okay, this guy is important. Terrible. But we're all so, for those who don't know, this is like a. Uh... Oh, shit. But it's all a lie. A sequel. Something to distract kind us. Kind of spin off to Alan Wake. It exists They're in the same universe. To us. Much like Torchwood does to Doctor Who. To ourselves. Now all this stuff is the important. Is and if you want, I have a more in-depth playthrough myself on the channel that will be out stranger. before this comes out. There's a hole hidden behind that poster. That There's a hole in the bottom of my hands. There's a hole in the bottom of my hands. We all feel safe hole. in that There's room. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of my hands. But sometimes. I mean, that's true. Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. Is it that guy who escaped in Shawshank? And the ones that see it happen freak right. out and try to forget what they saw. Then he stands covered in poop in the rain. Uh, ah! Why he chose enchilada night, I'll never know. <laughs> why he chose enchilada night, I'll never know. Love, 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 love that fucking episode. Hello? Mm. Anyone here? So I'm gonna do one thing real quick. Okay, good. There we go. Sweet. Oh my god. Uh, I've been wearing headphones too long. Oh, uh, you got that. We got that little weird itch in the air, you know? Yeah, because of random hair Or coils. something, or like, not even that. It's like it's like, like a little fleck of your skin just decides to droop on you. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of case files that you can open and look at. I love how doors just automatically open. And though she's not carrying the gun right now, she's walking like she is. I always love that about these games. Uh, I can see her hand. Yeah, you see how her hand's nice and stiff on the right? Doesn't feel natural the way she's moving? Yeah. I always love that shit. Alright. Ah, oh, yes, the founder, Colonel Sanders. Uh, Blurry Sanders. Oh, wait, come on. There he is. Wait a minute, that looks like that one guy from that one thing. And that's just... That actually looks like Colonel Sanders mixed with uh, Richard Gere. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Kentucky Fried Gerbil in his ass. Did you, did you remember that rumor about Richard Gere? Somebody in Hollywood made a rumor about him putting a gerbil in his ass and that followed him for like... these years, I've been looking ever. for them and they were hiding uh -huh. in plain sight. It was clearly proven to be a rumor. And even if he did, I mean, that's his business. That's between him and the gerbil, man. Hey, excuse me. I'm not gonna tell a Hollywood man what to do with his gerbil. Hey, you. Hey, you. You got a gerbil in your mouth? Hey, you are. You are I have a gerbil in my ass. Would you like to see him? Janitor's assistant. I named him Charlie. To go to the <laughs> Be quiet, Charlie. To the Thanks. Uh, Elevator that way. Cool. Also, a hamster is one thing. Gerbils are big. I know. That's a big thing to put in your ass. Lemme mix. Lemme mix. Might as well put a weasel in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We just got too rude too quick. Last night shift loader drops to know what makes we do. Us come off you don't get rude within the first ten minutes. I mean, are we even doing this right? I don't know. I, I'm making copyrighted farce infringements. I mean, that's what we do. This yeah. I mean, the, the joke man. isn't copyrighted, but it's parody against parody oh, against copyrighted parody. Joke. I, imagined it. I, I don't know. I mean, I would. I, I think it's sense. more of like a, you know. Will you help? Like, if you do a joke and then somebody blatantly steals your joke for word for word, or like it could be proof. Like, because a lot of jokes are based off of personal experience. So you know, like John Mulaney has a great joke about um, him and his buddy going to Denny's. And playing what's new, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like fourteen times on the jukebox, but like after the fourth time, because that, that 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 song starts with uh, it starts very, it starts and ends pretty much the same, so it sounds like it can loop where you think it's longer than it actually is, but on the fourth or no, it was the fifth playthrough, they put just like something new, like oh no, they put well, it's not on you, it's a world of love for anyone. That, and like so like people are slowly losing their minds to what's new pussycat over and over and over again and you see this one dad who looks like he just got out of anger management just like slow like like bending his fucking spoon you know and then it goes and he's like or like i don't know how many times it was like four or five or six times something like that some point to where it's like it's a lot of what's Can new pussycat um you know what's and happening. then it goes that's not unusual well and then there's Don't this big sigh of relief and everything like that years, and then it goes back to what's new pussy cat <laughs> and that dad's like god fucking damn it and like just loses his shit people are like so fucking mad they turn off the jukebox uh, that is a fuck. great joke based on a personal experience it is so well told the pacing everything if you tried to take that and use that in a stand-up bit, it, like he should be totally allowed to sue the shit out of you. Yeah, like, that's... that's my joke. That's my personal experience. <laughs> and it was uh... one of the funniest goddamn things I've ever heard in my life. I love that guy. It was amazing to learn that this this like very like Peter Parker dorky kind of uh, comedian was a huge fucking cokehead. Massive. Had to go to rehab. Just this whole, hey there, everyone. I'm, I'm Peter Parker, but a comedian. Fucking turned out to be a huge fucking coke addict. Like, what if he got bit by a radioactive Conan O'Brien? That is exactly what it is. Shit, shit, shit. Yes. I mean, Conan O'Brien does kind of look like he suffered from, from radiation poisoning. Really? Now, the first thing you do when you see a man who has shot himself is pick up his weapon. This has like some of the weirdest camera angles in any game. Yeah, you ready to get fucking confused? So basically, if you don't pass the test to be the new director, you're gonna die. Cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come That's the guy for the picture. A winner and you, <laughs> you're it. So basically, oh, it's putting you through the test. If you're gonna, be, are you gonna be the next director? Are you gonna be the new director? We're gonna oh, look at this place. Oh, fucking test you in the back rooms or whatever. This this game is kind of fucking crazy. Actually, it's got big SCP vibes. Cause the SCP won't let me be, or let me be me, or let me see if I can shoot all the SCPs into the fucking sun, my G. No, seriously, a lot of these SCPs they have is like just shoot the fucker into the sun. Shoot him into the sun. Okay. The same gun. Yes, it is. It's a bit of a tutorial. I am the chosen one. Okay. Now I have a gun. Praise the Lord, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 
Control gal's got a gun. Creepy demon things on the run. Oh. Alan's dialing 911. Can you stop? Okay, the auto snap is actually super bad and annoying. Because, like, you know with GTA, you can kind of move it a little bit? Yeah. It has none of that. It has, it has, oh, it has a stickiness. How about we turn the stickiness off? No, that doesn't help either. Okay, yeah. No, no aim assist then. Wait. Aim is snapping. Yeah, it's the aim snapping. Enhanced aim assist. Maybe that would be better. Hold on, let's see. It's not even a, it does. How absolutely confusing. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just free handed. I don't give a shit. It's not that hard of a game. Yeah, I get it, game. I get it. Honestly, it's pretty, uh, pretty generous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wow. That is disturbing. It's like if somebody got a vague interpretation of what humans look like. Oh, you mean Silent Hill humans? Yeah, kind of. I like how his animation. Oh, he got big as he. Moved. I like how the animations are so tight, probably reused from other creatures. That like, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, they got guns now. Give the zombies guns. Gonna be worse. As soon as you come out of this, you just murder twenty people. Right. This is all just a, a dream state. It's like in that robot chicken thing where Anakin imagine he was cutting off the heads of flowers. But he's actually killing all the younglings. There are game mods that let you do the youngling killing. And it's like, I don't think you guys understand why George Lucas didn't show that. Because he wasn't going for a hard R. Like, did he just force My choke them? Did he the slice all their heads off? It was just noise and did they fight back? Who knows? That's for you to fucking wonder. And this gun's alive. It's got the and Lord Jesus Christ in it. I'm happy. <laughs> happy to be here. Are you? I wouldn't be. This place is creepy as fuck. Down outside. Is it safe to go? I don't know. Oh, her name's Jesse. That's a terrible coincidence. Yeah. Uh, that name. Wow. <laughs> Neat. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. I like how they use their live, her live action actress as well on this. I don't know, saying none of the video games do that anymore. Hmm. I'm trying to think of who that is. I don't know if you thank recognize her. You. Thank you. That was horror. Horror. Get the fuck away. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? Yo, yo, gangster shit up with you. Blah, blah. I love the one handed shit. That's just to get your health up, all those little blue dots. Huh. I mean, all of this is red, so you're gonna have a hard time seeing that. And then, and then there's harsh blues. Even. It's all about the harsh colors in this game, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Got some stuff. What you doing up there, bro? further into the bureau. Wait, how do I open up the map again? There it is. Nice. And where am I? There I am. Perfect. I wish the map was a little more transparent. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's out. Oh, shit. Hello, crow. It's actually appropriate that you showed up during the, during the game. They stopped the other game with birds. And it's actually a uh, question if Quantum Break shares the same reality. I don't think it does because Alan Wake shows up in that game as a game on TV as a Which would make me think that it's not, you know, canonical. Cleanse the control. Cleanse it. What does that mean? Use the power of the Lord Jesus. Yay! Yes, and it has been cleansed. This and the house. darkness went away, and oh wow, the whole place has gone back to normal. Right? Isn't that cool? Holy shit. You did it. You right? did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the Bureau? Maybe. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. Her feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. All right. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere. Manifest this in ass, but we're protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily you you are the director and that makes you special by definition thank you the trench i know i'm special no mommy always told me obviously uh, i'm sorry i'm talking too much my, 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 my situation is just a lot trench is dead <coughs> i killed uh, him i found his body and the gun do i tell her it looked like a suicide the service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted. He did that? 
and you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to I'm tell awesome. you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Hey, Jesse, tell me about your mom. Like, do you know Jesse's what guys are doing? Not yet. That song's actually a little creepy. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Not even the kid's point of view, but she comes out with nothing but a towel on. Then you can maybe cure those infected or like woman? possessed by the hiss. Because Put if on your that's clothes. possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. Jesse's mom. Uh, I like her already. Jesse's mom. She's the officer uh, of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yeah. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We she can got try a thing together. in her head. Okay. You with me? Full disclosure, I don't think I Do actually ever beat this game. Push <laughs> the hiss out. Let's get rid of some hiss. I also want to smack her ass. <laughs> let the power of Christ compel you! Yes! I let the demons out! Yes! Yes! No, oh, I'm praising my. That didn't work. That's right. Sorry, the devil already took them. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep, ripping it out. So I really just love apart. doing that voice. <laughs> it's a fun one. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. Your town is the called Bureau Ordinary? And I... The whole thing. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. <laughs> Don't Maybe tell her too, too much. much. Already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. <coughs> and the <Dr>. Trench <coughs> would know. Trench. Want to get a little closer to the mic on that one? Ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the Hotline. Hotline, so bang! It. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone? A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. Yeah, that's weird, right? That's not me. Nah, you just I'm a bitch. Not a director type. I'm not a leader. Because you suck. <laughs> Why am I here? Why are any of us here? I think you already know. Nope. Yes, I came for my brother. One of life's there great mysteries. Other reasons too. Why are we I here? I was looking for is there, is there a God looking over us? 
I don't know, man, but it keeps me up at I'm night. Not looking for proof. What? This is already it. I mean, why are we here in this canyon? Oh, no yeah, what man. They told me all Dude. those years, I never. You want to talk about it? It's real no. now. <laughs> I love I that fucking show. Imagine shot. this. Uh, want to be a part of this world. We gotta find this room. What's you know where Magneto hung out after he was it. arrested. That's Only exactly what it looks hiss. like, right? Destroy it all. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, Halloween's coming up, and I can't decide what to be. I want to go as Luke, but the costume is a little extensive. I'd love to just go as, like, a generic Sith Lord, because that would be easier to put together on such short notice, because I don't really want to go as the Joker again, especially riding around on an electric bike, because the makeup and the hair and stuff, and, like, I don't want to risk riding around without a helmet on. Yeah. Um... It's the lightsaber. I have to get one of the ones where, like, the hilt detaches from the blade. You know what I'm talking about? But I was also thinking Fat Thor would be kind of funny. Because I'm a big guy. Just get, get the outfit and then get, like, the beard and the hair. You know, the the, the outfit he had in that. Is that a fly right there? Uh, is that a fucking... Don't, don't touch him. I'll get him. Watch yourself. Watch your drink. Fuck you, fly! Get out of here. It is amazing how I can have this stupid fucking thing that's supposed to keep fly flies out. In. And they still get in. Uh, I think I might just go as like a Sith Lord. They'll be like, which Sith Lord are you? I'll be like, I'm Lord Scorpius. And they'll be like, I don't know that Sith Lord. It's like, of course you don't, because you've only seen the movies, even though that's not even a real Dark Lord. But what do they know? Because they've only seen the fucking movies. Just rub people's arrogance in their face with something made up. Oh, hey, by the way, so we were talking about it. We've, uh, Ahsoka is out as this is coming out, and Hera, the the the, the uh, yeah. leak. So I figured out why she's in these in this show, even though she really isn't fit for the character of Hera because the because the character kind of looks like somebody who should be ethnic, based on the previous iterations, and she's just some white chick. Guess who her husband is? Who's also uh, like twelve years older than she is. Ewan McGregor! Hello there, Obi-Wan Kenobi has been, has been begging her. He's he's 52 years old, and she's uh, 38 years old, so he's 14 years older than her. I mean... Wait, who's this one? Th this is this is Hera. This is this is the chick. This is the chick who plays Hera. Yes. Uh... Hello there. 14 years older, and getting his wife a job as a character she's probably not supposed to play, <sighs> because it probably should have been played by... Somebody who's a person of color. Yes, hello there. Uh, yeah, I was like, e either I could be uh, Luke and I could get a Luke outfit, or I could do Ewan McGregor and Obi Wan, like you know, because like just let my beard grow out, and then I like, get the. But like, honestly, for either of those roles, I, I or either of those outfits, I'd probably want to lose weight just to get a proper sized costume. Um, those costumes can run a bit small. It's the truth. Now, how do I get over there to that place? We'll find out. Dun, 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 dun. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, now I understand how this map works. Okay. So the darker the blue, the deeper the level. Uh-oh. There it is again. Our welcome they hit. message. They hit the net, you girl. Oh, I can't go through. I am the director. I should be able to go anywhere. That guy's dead. Sucks to be you, bro. And yeah, I'm gonna you're gonna see a lot of the map here, ladies and gentlemen, as I play. Cause uh this place is fucking confusing. Oh yeah, I can't go this way. Otherwise it will actually kill me. Why? What the f it's, it's overpowering there you go. here. There's your answer. You don't want me anywhere near.
Oh, hey, there's that bird again. Close the door, would you? get it, dude. You're, you're fucking loud because you're looking for pussy. We're all looking for pussy, but you don't hear us screaming about it. Which is a joke well, I will use until the day I fucking die. If you go downtown, then you hear him screaming about it. Oh, like, what's his face? Screaming about the cigarettes. Yeah. What a fucking loser. Wow, this is, uh, this is fucked up looking, and I'm low on health. Well, that's gonna be fun. What's in the box? Please tell me it's health. Uh, undefined reading. Fucking thanks. Ow! Damn, motherfucking dropped you with a shotgun. And he still didn't kill me. Bastards, where you at? Alright. You guys suck. You suck all the donkey dick. I go, rrr, rrr. Big fat like, bully dog. It's like Quirks too, man. It's amazing how many people don't know Quirks 3 exists. Oh. That movie is, like, so good, but so sad at the end. There it is. We did it, though. We, we claimed this place. This house has been healed. Yes. Now you got that one over there in the middle the room. Whatever the fuck that's about. Hmm. Looks like it's basement level. No, it's a it's a up. Uh, no, it's the level we're on. We're just gonna have to traverse through a couple different levels to get to it. I told you this place fucking is confusing as shit. Gotta go this way. That way would be cheating. Why is it so dark? Alright. I guess we gotta go use these stairs over here. Can't wait till we get the ability to fly. <laughs> it's not even a joke. That's a thing. I wanna fly! I'm be walking on sunshine. Wow! Wait, no. What? Purposely confusing. There we go. Like, here's the problem with any map system that's designed for a multi tier area it's just always going to be confusing, you know? No matter how you do it. Okay, why is this closed off though? A weapon mod. Cool. That shouldn't be blocked off though. What the fuck? Why is that? How do I. Am I missing something? Let me guess. Wherever I'm supposed to go was in the area I already was, and I just backtracked for no reason. I... I bet you... I bet you... All I see is a bunch of gray overlapping with blue and gray. Yeah, no, it's really annoying and confusing, this fucking area. Mm, I... Mm, mm, mm. I've got to complain about it. Um, uh, it's probably somewhere right over here. Oh, look. It was. Because we're stupid. Yay. So where are we going? Up, down, left, right? Who knows? Let's find out. Nope. Wait, what's that? Sweet. Wee. Ah, oh, don't be a bitch about it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> that 
That was actually kind of funny. Hey. Oh. Oh. Um. Pardon me. Object of power. Whoa! 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 Damn, she's got good sprint. Take that, Alan Wake. <laughs> Probably goes for a jog every once in a while. Fat fuck. Alan, that is. Oh, uh, what is this? My millennial mind doesn't know what a floppy disk is. Let alone a five-inch floppy disk. Hey, look, it's perfect for a five-inch floppy disk. <laughs> All right. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. There are pyramids in the Bureau Seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I don't know, maybe. I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, say that. Check this shit. She has the force. <laughs> Strong with the force you are. Yes. Throw shit you must. Oh, that's right, you ran out of force. Look at that. Oh. There we go. I love in Star Wars game when you run out of force and you gotta let your force recharge. Very Star Wars. Luke, use the force. I, I can't, Obi-Wan, because cause I ran out. I gotta let my stamina, my mana bar <laughs> recharge. Luke, that's bullshit. Luke, what, what are you talking about, Luke? Hiya. Hiya. Force is strong. So, uh. What? You, you're you overusing that power a lot. Okay, here's my gun. You're overusing that power a lot, too. You should go in there and melee him. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. No, that sounds tedious. I know. But you know, I love you, smacking them around with that thing. You know what's awesome? Huh? You're you're literally playing the character I just created for Pathfinder. Oh. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Oh yeah, because I can just launch fucking projectiles at them. Yeah, don't pick up one of the explosive things. That, don't pick up one of the countless explosive things. Yep. Yeah. What the? I know, right? I'm getting so oh. annoyed. <laughs> uh. You know okay. it's fucking gnarly. What the fuck? I'm looking directly at these fucking things. Oh, it's fucking gnarly. I like this. Yeah, it's a fun game, I told you. Got a lot more going on than Alan Wake 2. Just with all the... Not Alan Wake 2, See, game, you, which will come out eventually. You're using a level 1 power. Levitate and... Th levitate and throw with the mind. Level 1 power. But it yeah, breaks you just gotta roll so the, much. You just gotta roll the dice properly. Yeah. You hit a nat 20 and just send them flying into oblivion. Yep. Not even a joke. That's one of the abilities I expect into the character I took set up. So you're going to get your character killed is what you're saying? Nope. My character's already built to go into that line. Ah, uh, there we go. I think I can get that ability at level 9 or 10. By the way, there is a lot of red that you just 
There's the blood, the door, her name, that Jeff is. This game likes the color red. Oh, that's right, this boss fight kind of sucks. They can fly now. They can fly now. He sucks. That looked like it hurt. Yeah, it did. Ah, help, 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 help. Oh my god. This is a prick. Wall Rider. Coward running like a little bitch. Coward. Come back and die like a man. Fight like a focused. man. Fight the like a man. should be past the mail room. Gonna get that hotline bling. This is such an old fucking meme. It is though. I mean, that shit was like 10 years ago or some shit like that. Oh my god, where'd all the time go? Well, we had a horrible presidency and then a unprecedented uh, pa pandemic and then, you know. <sighs> the last 20 years has not been kind. Look at this old ass TV. It's so old it's got the dials. Look at that. Look at how old that TV is. You see the dials on it? You see the little sliders for the picture? Anyone who was born pre-90s, you know this TV. Your grandmother has the bigger one. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Click. Click. The light switch Click. Have we been here before? Have we? No. Hated a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. What's this? The key has a black pyramid on it. Oh. Why is it gotta be black? <laughs> Dang. Ding, 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 ling, ding, 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 dong. Ring, ding, 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 dong. Whoa. Alan Wake, are you in here? Needless puzzle. It's just so you can get a damn bridge. Oh my god, what? <laughs> His hair ringing the whole time. What? <sighs> okay. More of this shit. <coughs> yeah. 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 <coughs> At least she's way more acrobatic than our last combatant. Oh wait, the blob is coming. And it's gonna come all over you. No oh, no. Unless she's into that, who knows? Maybe she likes the blob come. You don't know who are you to judge her. It's terrible. Uh it, it all depends on accurate. what color it has to be. Well, I mean, if it's a black blob, it's gonna be probably black. Gooey color. Like tar. <laughs> Hopefully not as smelly. 
there it is. Too rude. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. I feel like I know this And actor. my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Why do I know this dude? A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as there well he is. as I do. Matthew Some even Fortier. Better. Darling Tomasi. Oh, Tomasi. this dude's been in tons of Marshall shit. Especially my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like I was in Men in Tights. What? The only person you should fail is yourself. <laughs> but things change when you become director. He's Will Scarlet from uh, Men in Tights. I can reach Trench. Well, Robin right. Hood, Men in Tights. Remember Will Scarlet? Like That's why I recognize The dude with the knives? With yeah. And the... <laughs> oh, my God. All right, now we got to figure out who she is. Strongly. Uh, what tell him about you? Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I think it's this chick, Courtney Hope. That's definitely her. Oh, she is hot. Who is she? She's her. The actress of this character. And she is in a lot of stuff, but nothing I really recognize. Which is a shame, but good for her for getting a, you know, uh, decent video game. Getting your likeness attached to a good video game is not as easy as you might think. Alright, let's get back to that boardroom before our audience gets bored of this room. Whoa! Wait a minute, I could have gone to the director's office. Wait a minute, I could have had a V8. They uh, couldn't. They taste like shit. Oh, yeah, they're not that good. Now you want a drink that's got some uh, salsa, some uh, pepper, some tomato. We can make up a nice smoothie, vegetable style. I have a taco. Well, the point is you pour that over the uh, shredded chicken and make taco. Taco. Nah, don't make me hungry. <coughs> I know, I don't have any of the stuff I need to be able to cook all that. What I can always make is a cheeseburger and then just put like taco salsa stuff on it instead of like, you know, regular burger stuff. That actually works. It's pretty tasty. Like, ooh. Jesse, like did you a get Mexican the hotline? burger. How is it out there? The comms, the Which hits? sounds like an insult. Sorry, you made it. I got Mexican the hotline. burger, that's what I you call it. A, a, a Hispanic German. Incredible. What did he say? Yeah, yeah. He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. So what a bitch. Help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. So you're saying we gotta we walk got there? Past one lockdown. Yes. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all Liar. This can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would no, she's doing great. By you. comparison to most people would. It, it, you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help <coughs> us. Tests. I don't know. 
she might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Yeah. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Panning shot of the building. Epic. Dominating. Ominous. It goes forever. Okay. Just to remember, it's only 26 cubits high and 26 cubits wide. <laughs> What's with the janitor at all? He is the only one who can go between worlds. Probably right. Call it lubricating the transition. I don't want to. I don't want to call it that. Oh shit. That looks like a place we're gonna have to go to. So that'll be for the next episode. Uh -oh. You can cook, I got a grappling hook. Let's make this quick, cause I'm really booked. I'm a devious degenerate defender of the devil, shoving all the trash compactors on the D-touching level. My backpacks got chance. Well I'm both.